one of our most anticipated games of 2021. Was it worth the wait? Let's review it! This is the review for the board game X-Men Mutant Insurrection. The good and bad about it. By the end of this review, you will know if this game is for you. We have six burning questions to answer about this game, but before we do that, Giannis, what is this game all about? X-Men Mutant Insurrection is a co-op game where you, together with other players, or alone if you're playing solo, control a team of mutants and you go on different missions which help you move the general plot ahead until you get to the final showdown. And if you win the final showdown, you win the game. In your turn, you use one of your characters to go to a specific mission. And if you go together with somebody else, you also can assist each other. Just roll a bunch of dice that you can get and try to fulfill these missions, get the right icons that the mission asks you to. If you fail, you get a punishment for that. If you succeed, you get a good and healthy bonus. To summarize, you're trying to go through the story and to advance the story, you need to fulfill these missions. And each time you fulfill these missions, you advance the story. And there's some twists and final bosses and final showdowns. And if you complete this, you win, if you don't, you lose. Let's jump to the questions. And the first question is, who would you buy it for? Three, two, one. Oh, nostalgic parents. Artwork is very nostalgic for the TV shows, TV series, right? X-Men brings flashbacks to me as well. That is the awesome part. So somebody who likes the X-Men for sure. And also parents, because I think it's more of a kid's game than it is for grown-ups. I'm completely accidentally draw an arrow there for no reason at all. Is it uh, apparent that I'm nostalgic? I actually wrote down families with X-Men fans in it. What else can I say? I thoroughly agree with what you said. And while I wrote down families, it probably must include kids. But if you're a really big fan of X-Men, might not include kids. But sure, I, I see what you're saying about, you know, you <laughs> and kids. What is the best player count? Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. We're we're matching today. One of the most interesting parts of this game is the bonds. If you get a bond, then you get one card and another player gets the same card. And now you have like a relationship between you. That's why you both get bonuses if you do the same missions at the same time. This really works well if you are more than one or two players. So I would say that you at least need three. Yeah, I'd say actually three to six, since it feels the more players you have, the more X-Men you have, and the more, like you said, bonds can form. It's more interesting who will go with whom, where. A lot of stuff, except rolling dice, happens simultaneously. You just figure out where to go, place your guys, and then just roll dice. And everyone's excited to see how you roll because they care. So three to six works fine. Everyone except you care. What is the best thing about this game? Three, two, one. References. references. There's a lot of references to the TV series, to the shows, to X-Men in general. This dude was my favorite character in the TV shows. I really like Gambit. And when I saw this card, I was like, awesome, I can play him. As well as just the stories, just seeing Magneto. So first thing for me is ease of play. It's actually really easy to play. Place your characters in the missions and then roll your dice. That's basically what it comes down to. And if we narrow it down, it's a very simple game. And I feel that it's very refreshing. Uh, who doesn't like custom dice, right? Man, I love these dice. I love rolling dice, trying to do skill tests. And I didn't write it down, but once you were talking about it, I thought I should have, but I'll just add it to the X-Men co-op story. Because I actually do feel the story here. And that final showdown is just a really nice feeling. I might be, you know, sentimental and, uh... Might be. Yeah. It's really awesome. I mean, I like it a lot. Who actually is your favorite X-Men? I think it's Lyco. I really, really like it. For me, it's definitely Subscribo. Mm, that's a good one as well. Yeah. What is the worst thing about this game? Yeah, I wrote down shoots and letters with cards because, well, you just roll some dice, do some stuff, and that's it. Yes, you have this X-Men theme. Yes, you have this story. But this is how I felt playing it. If my character has the dice that is needed there, obviously I will go to that mission. And then that's it. I just roll those dice and see what happens. I found it to be a kid's game because for sure you can find something fun there. But it's not a serious game. And I don't have kids right now. And I don't uh, 
find it fun at all. Plus also the box size, which I totally get for marketing reasons. Plus also this piece, <laughs> there's totally no point. Useful. It looks nice, but it's totally useless. I get it why they did it. Of course, marketing works, bigger boxes works. But it's just sometimes ridiculous. People need to appreciate that like board games is more than just the size. Also the cars, the work put into it. Well, gamers start to appreciate it. I get it, I get it. And this is not for gamers, I think. So this is for X-Men lovers. I'm a gamer, it's for me. Yeah, you're also a kid, so <laughs> it's 50, go, 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 go. First of all, it feels overwhelming. Like I said previously, it's just, you know, place your guy, roll dice. It's what it comes down to. And that's why I see where you're saying, saying shoots and ladders. But there's so many cards. There's like Bond cards, then there's X-Men cards, Ally cards, then there's Event cards, these cards, 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 cards. And it feels like, well, this must be a really complex game when it isn't. And same thing for the rulebook. The rulebook's pretty long and there's so much stuff in it. And then when I explained it, I was like, wait, is that it? That rulebook's like 20 pages. What's the best alternative? Oh. Damn, that is a good alternative. Right? Ah, right. I missed that. I've played it recently. I love that game. It's really quick. It's about superheroes. You can play it with your How game. quick would you say it is? I would say like around six minutes. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. <laughs> you as a team uh, just throw out different cards in the same time to get the right cards that you need, the right symbols. It's a lot quicker and it's real time. It feels the same. The complexity level is kind of the same. And this one is actually fun. So mine's Marvel United, and I was like, whoa, Marvel United is actually a really freaking amazing game. Yes, they also are going to have an X-Men expansion coming out next year, I think. Marvel United is also a light family type of Marvel themed game. So is this game, even though it hides under this blanket of being gamery, which I think is its downfall. Final rating. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> It has happened, ladies and gentlemen. You asked for this. Here's the first hangover. Here's the first hangover. I, ever. I, I think at this point they, they were already kind of, okay, this guy likes this and this guy definitely doesn't. It just comes to down one thing. Was it fun? No, absolutely. I didn't enjoy like a minute of it. There was three seconds where we needed exact dice. So everybody was zeroed in and looking like, what do I need to do get these dice? It was super fun because we actually did it. Great. And then the rest 10 minutes was, oh God, why? Well, now here's the real opinion. Please. I am glad that this game came out because I get to play a simple dice game with my kids. Yes, that's what it comes down to. That is X-Men theme. Actually, this one is of my son's most requested game this year. And he's like, when are we gonna have the back so we can play it again? It makes me feel happy that he likes this game and we both get to explore X-Men that I did. I guess it is a sentimental thing, but to be objective, it is not that bad of a game. I guess it all depends what expectations you go into. And if you're like, okay, let's just play Scythe. And right after that, we play X-Men Mutant Insurrection. Then you're probably gonna feel like a hangover for this. Definitely. Yeah, I have kids. Okay. They like superheroes. Yeah, and the short cop game is fine then this would probably be, you know, okay or good for you. So that's it for our review for X-Men. Uh, what are your thoughts? Have you played it or are you now interested? Let, Let us, us know. know in the comments for sure. And do uh, all the other good stuff, right, Giannis? Yes, subscribe, like, and thank you very much for watching. Yeah, we see you We'll see you next time. Bye.